Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be doing uh, part two for our collaboration series with Discovering the Art of Living, uh, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. And we are going to scan our painting from part one and we're going to get that into the computer and then I'm going to start doing the rough draft for the Grinch um, onto a piece of paper and I'm sitting here with my kitty in my chair and a book and a piece of paper and I need to start sitting at my desk so that I can get better shots for you. It's a bad habit I have to break. And we're going to scan that in and that's how that's going to look. And then I'm going to throw that all into the computer and I'm going to put it together. And I'm going to print it out on a piece of canvas so that we can paint it. Um, I'm using Santa Red. I actually should have outlined this first, so I'm gonna just, I'm gonna attempt to make this work and see if we can get around it since we have wet paint on here now. And yeah, I think we're going to have to go ahead and uh, do that. Oh yeah, that's much better. The green was just um, too thick. I couldn't see those lines through it, so I needed to darken them up. Yeah, this is working much better. I'm a lefty, so it's difficult to paint so that I can see and so that the camera can see as well in uh, some of these angles.
I used an opalescent white on the um, collar and the trim and now I'm going to um, do the shading with a little bit of black mixed into the green. Uh, the green color is called Crisp Green. I think I forgot to mention that. And I just used regular white on his uh, eyes. I'm going to put some uh, regular white over the opalescent white on the trim as well. That'll give it some more dimension. This is such a fun project. I'm really enjoying it. I'm, I'm really excited with how it's turning out. It's And so I added some black to the red also, and now I'm going to do the shading on the shirt and on the hat. I also used the opalescent white and I mixed it with some of the red and I went back over that um, with that and it gave it a really pretty shimmer. And now we're going to go ahead and outline it again just to bring everything back out.
after we get this done, all that's left for me to do is uh, to stretch the canvas onto a stretch frame. Um, if you would like to learn how to do that, I have a video on that that I will link up above for you. And this is the resulting final piece. I am so glad that you joined me today and um, I hope that you'll stick around. Um, if you do, I will see you next time. I look forward to seeing you. Thank you for watching.